So a basic principle of optimization, as you know, is to bid more for segments of traffic that work, so you can maximize that traffic, and to bid less for traffic that doesn't work for you, so you can both spend less money on it, and also so you can reduce the CPCs, which should in turn improve both your CPAs and return on ad spend. And when we talk about bidding more or less for a segment of traffic, the most basic vehicle for a segment of traffic is a keyword or a set of keywords. But there are, of course, other ways to divide traffic into segments against which you can evaluate performance, choose to target or not target, and raise or lower bids. And when it comes to making these bid adjustments on manual bidding, there are a few things you'll want to look out for. Here are three of them. Optimization tip number one. So, bid adjustments multiply. So remember to watch out for compound bid adjustments. For example, if you bid up by 10% for mobile traffic, maybe another 15% based on it being a Tuesday, and another 25% increase based on someone being in Bristol as the location, then when someone triggers your ad from a mobile in Bristol on Tuesday, you have a bid adjustment of 58%. Once you add in gender and age and audience adjustments, which we'll be looking at in the next unit, as you can imagine, you can quickly find yourself bidding way more than you ever intended to. There is a limit to how much the bid adjustments can multiply and how much it can deviate from the base bid, but that limit is 900%. And at that point, it's no longer an adjustment, it's in a completely different ballpark. The lower limit when you're making bid reductions is minus 90%. So when making a bid adjustment, just keep in mind what existing adjustments are already in place, and use smaller percentage changes if there are multiple adjustments affecting the same set of keywords. There are a few other finer points about how bid adjustments interact with each other, and you can find those easily enough on Google's page about bid adjustments. Now, when you don't have much conversion data to go on, it's a good idea to look at engagement metrics from GA. Bounce rate, time on site, pages per session. With keywords and ads and higher level groupings, that's fine. You can import GA data and include it in the columns. But these columns are not available in the devices report or the schedule report or the location report. Luckily, this insight is available in Google Analytics. For devices, the simplest way to see it is to go through the acquisition Google Ads report and look at campaigns. Add in device category as a secondary dimension. And if you then order by campaign, you can see the breakdown quite easily per campaign with all the engagement metrics for each campaign for each device category. You can do a similar thing with day of the week. Though in this case, to make it less messy, you might want to filter to see just one campaign at a time. With locations, you need to go the other way around. So go to audience, geo, and location, add the campaign as a secondary dimension, and apply a filter just to see the campaign you want to analyze. Then check the engagement metrics for each location within that campaign. Tip number three, don't use bid adjustments as a substitute for appropriate base bids. If you end up with varying degrees of positive bid adjustments, then the chances are that what you really need to do is raise your base bid. So look at the base bids, by which I mean keyword level or ad group level bids, first, and try to treat the adjustments as that, just deviations from a bid that's generally in the right zone on its own. Bid management will be a lot cleaner that way. Often adjustments do end up getting overused, and then it's hard to make meaningful adjustments because there are just too many disparate levers pulling in various directions to various degrees. So keep treating the base bids as your anchor. So those were three of the five optimization tips that round off lesson seven, part two of Google Ads Level Up, the paid search optimization course. So for lots more like this, check out Google Ads Level Up through the link below.